Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation here. Welcome to another model aircraft unboxing. Today, sitting in front of us is the brand new Air Canada Boeing 787-8 in the new livery, um, the 2017 new Air Canada livery. This model was made by Phoenix and is in the 1 to 400 scale. The registration is C-GHPQ. Before I get on to go over the box and the model itself, I just want to say that all views expressed in this particular unboxing are my own. Um, also, it's my honest opinion on the model. Um, I know some people can possibly get hurt by what I say regarding a model that's if I talk down about it or the maker. So I'm giving my honest opinion in this particular video um, because it's the video is here to not only showcase the new model but also inform people that are looking into purchasing it um, and people that have it whether or not you should keep it, sell it, um, maybe buy two because the price may increase within the coming years. Um, that's all going to be covered in this video, so I do hope you enjoy. So now I'm just going to progress to read a little bit about Air Canada. They were founded on the 10th of April 1937, 80 years ago, as Trans Canada Airlines. They commenced operations on the 1st of January 1965 as Air Canada, so around about 30 years under the name Trans Canada Airlines. Their hub is Calgary International Airport, Montreal, and Toronto Pearson and Vancouver. I apologise if I pronounced any of those names wrong. They are part of the Star Alliance. Subsidiaries are Air Canada Cargo, Air Canada Express, Air Canada Rogue. They have a fleet size of 169 aircraft and fly to around about 350 destinations, including the Cargo Express and Rouge or Rogue um, subsidiary. Their company slogan is Your World Awaits. Headquarters is based in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Revenue as of 2016 was in Canadian dollars 21.6 billion. Operating income was 3.796 billion and as of 2017 they had 40 well they have 42,000 employees. Air Canada is the flag carrier and largest airline of Canada. The airline, founded in 1937, provides scheduled and charter air transport for passengers and cargo to 182 destinations worldwide. It's the world's 8th largest passenger airline by fleet size and is a founding member of the Star Alliance. Air Canada's corporate headquarters are located in Montreal, while its largest hub is at Toronto Pearson International Airport. Air Canada had a passenger revenue of $13.8 billion in 2015. The airline's regional service is called Air Canada Express. Onto the box. The box is a pretty much standard Phoenix um, box. If you have purchased Phoenix models before, you this probably does look quite familiar. We have right in the middle the uh, digitalized image of the new Air Canada livery, which was released just a couple of uh, months ago, rather. Up the top, of course, is the Boeing 7878 in large print. Um, just sitting behind the actual Air Canada, you might not be able to make it out, but it is the maple leaf, which is featured on the tail of the aircraft and towards the front, just below the Air Canada. Towards the bottom, we have Air Canada and their logo. Of course, the registration, and just repeating that, that is C-GHPQ. Uh, bottom right is 1-400 to scale platinum series. On the bottom, we have the digitalized image and the Phoenix logo to the left, Boeing 787. On the side, again, we have the Phoenix logo to the right, registration on the left, and Air Canada. On this side, we have the Phoenix logo and warning, contains small parts not suitable for children under 14 years, made in China. And this side, we have the Phoenix logo on the right and the Heart of Aviation, true to scale collectibles, super detailed graphics, realistic featured antennas, and rollable wheels with metal landing gears. That's kind of their slogan, I guess you could say. Wrong way. On the back, we have limited edition. Um, literally every single Phoenix box has limited edition on it. We then have the Maple Leaf and Air Canada. Registration again. To the bottom left, there's the barcode, Boeing, officially licensed product, and then it just says how the product, um, product it's produced, sorry, under the license from the Boeing management company. 787 and Boeing are among the trademarks owned by Boeing. Now onto the box itself. When we open it, um, it's pretty standard with the flap, as you can see. Quite difficult to open at times. Um, usually you get a crease in it while opening, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we slide the model out of its packaging just like that. I will now put the box over to the side as we will no longer be needing that until the end of the review. 
This is how the model comes packed. Um, there's like a sneak peek, I guess. And essentially, providing this won't be difficult to take off, it kind of comes like a, there we go. So it's got the main base and on top there is in fact like a cover which protects the model's top area. When we move that over to the side, we, well it's come off, but we have like a little piece of plasticky thing where we sit it over the top of the model and it protects it. And here in fact is the model. And I will now go into review of it. Right, now we can move from left to right on this new Air Canada model. I will also just go over um, a couple of things that I'm not too happy about with the model. Again, this is my honest review. I did say this at the start, if you've made it this far. I'm now going to probably start criticizing Phoenix. Um, so click off if you like Phoenix and can't deal with me criticizing them. Um, from left to right, as I said, Towards the left we have the cockpit windows and you may think this is like an A350 but I assure you it's not. It's actually a 7878. Um, you might be fooled by the eyebrow kind of design that Air Canada have opted for in their new livery. Um, in fact it does really look like the A350 um, well known eyes. for the... um, Moving to the right we have the Star Alliance logo um, below the first gear door, the front gear. Uh, front gear door as well. First entry door. This is where passengers will usually board. Air Canada. Um, and then below the start of the passenger windows. And just below that is the Maple Leaf. Now this particular aircraft has a dark belly. So you can start to see the colour shift um, from white to the dark. Moving along we have more windows. The very signature curved wings which are on the streamliner of course we have the engines now these engines are the two times ge nx engines um, this was delivered may 2014 its fleet number is 801 um, and ferried from the pain field to i believe vancouver uh, in may 2014. onto the tail which is probably the biggest downfall of this model um, I'm extremely happy with the mould, the overall design um, that Air Phoenix have implemented for this Air Canada, um, but the colours, which probably caused quite a lot of controversy among model collectors, are completely off. Um, I don't know how this is going to come out on video, it will probably come out quite dark, so I might have to lighten up the footage um, so you can get the full effect, but essentially the livery is sort of meant to be black or if it's not black the red maple leaf on the tail needs to stand out with a very bold red now to give you an example if you look towards the left of the model where it says air canada just below that you can see a very distinctive red maple leaf comparing that to the tail the tail maple leaf is extremely dull not colorful and doesn't really look right now i have no problems with owning a model that might not necessarily be a hundred percent perfect but deep down when you do pay for a model you do expect quality regardless this has happened a couple times with phoenix when i've purchased a model either the wings fallen off it's come broken there's been chips all around the wings where they've been attached on um, but now phoenix have messed up the colors so if anyone has this on pre-order you may be okay with this you might say okay uh, that's fine with me. I'm happy to own a model because I don't really look at the colors. It's just, it looks nice. I'll put it on my airport. Again, that's completely fine. That is probably what I do. But for the real enthusiasts that look at the fine detail, um, you probably won't be happy with this model. Um, eventually, when I do my complete recap of it and talk about any up upcoming models and news, you will just be able to see the vast and very very large contrast between the box livery and the livery on here similar to an unboxing i did of my gemini jets air force one you would have seen the com colors were completely different um well on the box and the model they are different as well so i think that's gonna about cover it for the model itself um just want to add one more thing before we recap the whole video if you uh, not a fan of models that might not have the best color. I would recommend selling this. 
Um, I do know a lot of people that are probably after it. I don't know if they're going to still want it when they've seen this review or if they do see a review on it. There are a couple of reviews of this model up on websites where you can also read similar thoughts to mine regarding the colour situation. Because again, I have no complaints with the overall look of the model. It's just the fact that they've completely messed up with the colours. And a good way to tell, as I said, was the maple leaf to the left is a really vibrant red. And on the tail, it's very dull and really with the eyes can't really be seen, whereas the smaller one is more bright and is more distinctive, which is quite weird. Now to really just recap the model review in general, um, I would probably rate this model a 7 out of 10. The mould is spot on, it's heavy so it is well made, the details are perfect, it's just the colour which has really set me off. Now unfortunately the focus isn't very good um, on the background image on the box, but um, you can probably see a notable difference already in the colour. As for upcoming model reviews, I've got heaps to do, about 20 model reviews, which I can do. Um, it's just finding the time, motivation, and almost, I guess you could say, the need to review it. Um, because I do have like steady and constant flow of plane spotting footage and video ideas I want to do, Really, I've been focusing on new models, so if I purchase a new model for pre-order like I did with this one, um, I will probably put this ahead of one that I got maybe a year ago. I have pre-ordered the Qatar A380 made by Phoenix, which was released, or has been released for pre-order about a week and a half ago now. Um, both of this, Air Canada and the Qatar, were both pre-ordered from the Aircraft Model Store. A lot of you have been wondering where I get my models. Um, I'm probably going to pin it as a comment just so you can see. Or if you want me to, I can make a video about where I kind of get my models, etc, um, etc. Et so I did, I do rather, hope you enjoyed this model review. Um, sorry for kind of ranting in the previous clip. I just felt it was important to kind of talk to you about the massive colour difference. Um, it really... I wouldn't say it does my head in, it's just disappointing to see the colours off. Again, I'm not, not being ungrateful and saying, oh, it's a crap model, I'm going to throw it away. Um, but when you do spend money, you do expect quality, and especially from a brand like Phoenix, you're not really going for one, let's say, made by Jetstar. You're going for a well-named brand model company, so you kind of expect it to be good. Um, maybe from now on I need to kind of change my expectations I guess you could say um, so never like expect a perfect model um, because recently there have been quite a lot of flaws with them anyway hope you enjoyed this model review of the Phoenix Air Canada in the new livery Boeing 7878 um, leave a like if you enjoyed um, and I will see you in the next unboxing or model airport video um, thank you for all your support we are almost at 4k so if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot Peace.